It's no excuse. I know. But we've all done it. And it doesn't matter what country you come from. From the video games consoles to the personal computers. From the cell phones to the laptops. We have all pirated a video game. Imagine what it must be like for video game developers that after so much effort, so many hours of work, after all the sweat and tears, thousands of people instead of helping them to pay the rent and provide food at the table of those who entertain us and give us illusions, providing a magical and wonderful escape from reality, they see themselves betrayed in this way. People argue one of the oldest lies. I have no money. Not having money to eat doesn't excuse you from committing a crime. Imagine not having money to entertain yourself, but this is not a video to judge you. It doesn't seek to make you feel bad. Like I said before, we've all done it. What I want is to disturb you, and when it comes to piracy and video games, I found the ideal topic, theme that no one ever talked about before. Be afraid. The only thing that is known is that this company was originally from Hong Kong. Hong Kong is an autonomous territory in the southeast of China that was a British colony until 1997. Today, it's a place that, although tiny, is very prosperous and modern. Lo and behold, a strange video game company came, which disappeared without a trace. Not because things went wrong for them, but because their members had to escape. Have you ever come across a screen like this? They appear when the game detects that your copy is not legitimate. Sega was famous in the 90s for giving the mythical Sony CD, a screenshot that turned out to be quite disturbing, that perhaps it was the inspiration for the creepypasta Sony EXE some 20 years later. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Many video game companies have been notorious for giving lessons to gamers who didn't buy an official copy. However, this small Hong Kong company I told you about created video games until 2018, which they sold on a variety of platforms. It is obvious that no video game house likes people to pirate their products. But these gentlemen of this company liked it even less. That is why the last work they put out for sale had a mechanism to detect if you had pirated the game. And if you were unlucky enough to be discovered, the 
these happened. Do you know what the problem was with this anti-piracy screen? Killed a person in Asia with a heart attack. More precisely, a 62-year-old man from Beijing. Although no further incidents were reported, the truth is that this caused very strong complaints from Malaysia, Singapore, and some regions of China. That, hand in hand, with having the dubious honor of having created the first and only anti-piracy screen that literally killed someone, it caused our friends to have to collect everything and go on a rampage to avoid legal problems. They wanted a fight against the pirates whom they considered criminals. And they had to run in four directions when in the eyes of the fearsome Chinese authorities, they became real criminals. The deadliest anti-piracy screen in history. A tribute to Dross.